Today was the first day small businesses in Utah could apply for rent relief. The program provides $40 million for those who have lost revenue as a result of COVID-19. Fox 13's Aaron Cox shows us how one business is working through this. The Salt City Sweet Shop has been open here in Harriman for a little over two years. The owners say things were going smoothly until the pandemic when they learned they could apply for the small business rental relief program. The owners say that's exactly what it was for them. A relief will allow us to take some of that stress off of her of where's next month's rent going to come from from handcrafted chocolates and treats to the candy and sodas that line the walls. How are you doing? Good, good, you? Everything here is a part of Mark Drew and his wife's sweet shop dreams. This is a legacy. You know, this business will be passed to our daughters. <laughs> Customers have not been here for nearly two months, and though they've lost employees and cash. We've estimated between the two locations, close to $60,000. Utilities and property rent is still due. Obligations haven't stopped. Yeah, it's been a challenge. Drew's wife applied for the Commercial Rental Assistance Program. Those eligible for the program have to have a current lease on commercial property. Claim Utah as their principal place of business, have less than 100 employees as of February this year, and show at least 50% loss of gross monthly income after March 1st because of the pandemic. They also must not have received funds from another grant program. $10,000 is is the most a small business can receive from this grant. They can receive between 25 to 100 percent of a single month of the business lease amount. It's all based on how much the company has lost of gross revenue and whether or not they've received any other funds from the Paycheck Protection Program. Drew and the shop, it's a little bit of hope. We can bring some of our employees back. Checks will be in the mail as soon as May 15th for small businesses. As for the Salt City Sweet Shop here, they were only eligible for about 15%, and that's because they applied for other grant funds. In Harriman, Aaron Cox, Fox 13 News, Utah.